Hey guys, it's Sarah Rose Sells. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is all about reselling clothes on Poshmark, eBay, and ThreadUp. I've actually made a couple more sales. I'm excited to show some what's sold when I can figure out how to put all that on camera. So welcome back all you cool cats and chickens. Ha 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 ha. Right. So today I went to the Goodwill bins. Tuesdays and Thursdays is usually when I have a sitter. I spent about $24 on all of this, which is just amazing. And I think I found one piece that will pay for the whole trip, so I was a happy camper. So, with that, let's get started. Drum roll, please. Okay. Uh, first up is this Miss Selfridge. Anyways, it's made in Romania. It's a U.S., what did it say, size 6, and it's this, like, ruffled dress. It's pretty lightweight. Anytime something has European sizing on it, I'm kind of intrigued. Um, so, yeah, I picked that up. I'm going to check the comps on both eBay and Poshmark, and I'll also look and see what ThreadUp values that at. And just a tip, if you want to know how to find comps, I guess you could say, on ThreadUp, I just look for the brand. I might put in Miss Whatever Fridge Dress. <laughs> That's a really odd label. I'll have to kind of research what the heck that is. Um, but I'll punch that in, just be very vague. And the, the price that they have crossed out is what they value it at. And that's 80% of that is what you can list it at. So... That's kind of how I check comps on ThreadUp. So we'll check that out. Now this is a brand that already sold on ThreadUp. It's these Foxcroft wrinkle-free blouses, button-up blouses. Yeah, so I actually, trick of the bins. Tricky, tricky, tricky. So while we're all sitting there waiting for them to bring another row out, because maybe they're on break, maybe they're taking lunch, maybe they're working on hard goods over there, which is not really what I'm interested in, I'll go through my cart, I'll, you know, put things in the light and see if it's stained, talk to some of the other resellers that are there. But today I decided I'm going to take a walk. And while I did, I found clothing mixed in with the hard goods. So while you're in between bins and your cart's already gone through if you keep up on it like i do take a just take a cruise take a cruise and see what you can find because i did find a couple of pieces i last time i went i found a pair of great j crew there we go j crew shorts they had like a rolled hem on them they sold them like one day on thread up um j crew is a brand i send to them it was uh, like closet clear out of i've had these in my poshmark closet for a while these j crew like dresses sweaters you know stuff that i thought would have had value no i sent it to thread up when i found that at the bins those shorts at the bins and they sold like within a week of being listed like they get through the bidding and they go live i mean i think it was actually only a couple of days so i'll be getting paid on those like 13 to 15 dollars so um so here's another one of that same like wrinkle-free women's button-up, the Foxcroft, and this one may have been like new with the tags at some point. So yeah, I'm going to probably send those to thread up just because I know the last one I sent was a red one. It was size 16 and it sold very quickly. Um, this is another, hey, let me cruise through the hard goods section and see if some clothes are mixed in. Peace. These are international concepts like this polka dot short i've been sending shorts in that have cool patterns on them i did find a pair of calvin klein that we'll get to i sent a pair of banana republic sold on thread up in two days after the bidding process so i may try these on thread up just because i haven't sent this brand in either and i think the shorts are still selling on there it's in season and if not i always do the reassurance where you can pay the extra money of whatever they don't take you can send back so yeah we'll see which speaking of okay here's those um really cute calvin klein shorts a size four the banana republic ones i sent i mean i'll have to steam them a little bit 
and they're just like this, I don't know, kind of neon orange. You see that little print? I'll seam them up, make them look nice. I did notice when I sent things to thread up, that is something I don't think they do. I don't think they're steaming anything. Like, literally pulled it out the box and they threw it on a mannequin, which sometimes looks better than what I'm doing just because it's on the mannequin, but I'm going to be touching up the items I did buy a steamer this week. So, okay, this is a brand that I saw um, Nicole State had suggested pick up in one of her videos, um, these athletic... Speedo, but like, okay, it's really interesting because it's like <laughs> shorts. Like I don't know, it had a style number on the inside, so I was gonna check it out. Don't know if I can throw it on a hanger. Don't know what it'll do at thread up. What's it say here? What size? I don't even know if it has the size. Yeah, it has a style number. So I don't know, something I'll have to research a little bit more. I just thought it was interesting and sometimes these like traditional Speedo things go for good money. So we'll check that one out. Um, This is, yep, this is one I wanna send a thread up. So it's a women's gray blazer from the limited, new with the tags, size large. Good size. Again, I'll probably steam it a little bit. Um, retails for $128. So if they match that, I might make about 80 bucks on this on thread up. So, and what I do is I just keep a box down in my basement, which is my inventory room. I, being part time, I keep my inventory pretty small. Like I have about eight bins. And I separate mine out by type, just because like I'll I keep all the plus size in one, I keep all the bottoms in one, I keep, well, there's like a little baby bin of like the lingerie, uh, sports bras and stuff. I'll keep tops, I have two bins of tops and jackets. And it's kind of how I keep a control of myself from shopping too much and getting a death pile. If your bins are full, then you need to work on selling some stuff and you're not allowed to go sourcing because yeah just wouldn't make sense. Um, these I was gonna check out on ThreadUp uh, just because these are new with the tags. They're an Abercrombie and Fitch, size large, new with the tags. And they are a high rise legging. So I'll have to see what those are valued at. I just love shopping like by the pound. You know, something like that I can try out and it probably cost me 50 cents, 75 cents. I don't know if I'll ever go back to the traditional thrift store again. Um, these are a pair of Gap jeans. Curvy jeans. I picked these up, A, because they were curvy. B, they were in good condition. And C, thread out value these in the last pair I was um, able to price at like $69.99. Again, that doesn't mean that's what they're gonna sell for, but I'll probably get more from Thread Up on those, even at $49.99 if I would on my own Poshmark closet. So I'll try those out again. Okay, this isn't part of the haul. So my eight-year-old is obsessed with cats. Before the whole pandemic, we actually used to go every Saturday and volunteer at the local animal shelter. Look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Party animal. And if my sister watches this video, I think this was her and my niece the other night. They literally stayed up till 11 o'clock and then were up at like 6 and 7 asking for passwords to my phone and if they could go swimming. So she will probably either crop this or like the latest thing is she will cut the bottom and then figure out how to tie it in the front. Every shirt she owns, she tries to tie in the front. So that's actually hers. Put that to be washed. This is a, oh, this is a take a walk. Found it in the home goods box. And I wanted to see how these did. Now there was some other dress pants and I refrained and I put them back. They did have some weight to them and they were just boring black and brown. But I picked these up because they were just unique. So these are Talbots and they're a, does it say what's, oh, a size 10 Hampshire ankle. And I've been told if you, 
like some of people may look just for this cut of pant so when they have names it's good but look at it's like a striped cropped pant in a size 10 so yeah i thought those were cute this here i picked up because it was plus size and it was new with the tags it was um well here's where i get confused okay i'm not first of all i'm not sure what brand this is the shirt was cute it was plus size okay so what do you do when the tag looks like this you know what i mean like do you remove that and say it's new without the tags because the lowest price on there is $9.99. So, like, is someone going to get mad if they get this new with tags and they're like, excuse me, you sold this to me for $20 and it says $9.99 on there? Like, what do you do? Do you take this off or not? Comment below and let me know. Give me some, give me some tips. This is for learning. So, it's kind of like this boho top, flowy, bell sleeve. Oh. Disregard, it has a stain. Hmm. Good thing it was lightweight. I don't like messing with stains. I'm 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 a lazy reseller. Mm -mm. Not doing it. I mean, I may throw it in the wash since I have to wash my daughter's stuff anyways, but that looks like blood. And okay, take a walk. Another example. I found this in the bedding. Like they have the bedding in the front with like pillowcases and comforters and stuff. And there were clothes mixed in, and I found that. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to see if we can get the stain out, what it'll do with the tag. Like, I don't know. Oh, these were a find for my daughter. I forgot to give these to her. There was a bin at the end. And my friends that go, they resell kids' clothes. So we're always kind of helping each other. I like, to, I like to be the nice person at the bins, not like the get-out-of-my-way person. So we found a lot of Justice there, which is a good brand. My daughter loves it. Look at these. Look at the doggies. So I told you she likes to volunteer. I just thought those were really cute. And she's in this weird phase where she wants to wear everything black and cropped. And I'm like, simmer down your eight, okay? With the crop tops. Like, we went to the fair tonight. And I looked at my daughter and I was like, that's not how we're going to dress. And she said, what do you mean, mommy? And I said, there's too much skin showing here. Okay, like I thought when you go to the fair, at least back in my day, it was jeans, like cute Miss Me jeans and boots, which there was some of that. Everything was cropped, even the bigger girls. And I'm like, cover up, like who? I'm sorry. I, as a parent, I'm no, like I'm already preparing myself. You're not going out of the house like that. And I believe daddy will agree. <laughs> so, okay, this one I may actually try to sell myself. I don't normally pick up, um, mall brands like old navy charlotte Russe, rue 21 forever 21 because they just don't do very well they don't hold value it's what they call fast fashion right there's so much of it out there but i thought this was really cute the style it is new with tags originally for 32.99 and look it's really pretty and dainty i mean someone can even use that with like maybe like a summer wedding dress or something Sweetheart neck. I don't know. It reminds me of like, okay, remember Pretty in Pink when she made her own dress and the top, and the top like looked like that? I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Very lightweight. I'm probably going to list that one myself. And again, if you list it and you don't get a whole lot of likes and I just like, okay, yeah, it's not working. I'm very impatient as a reseller. I, I don't like keeping things and I like to keep things switching up. So if it doesn't work, it goes a thread up. Bye-bye. Okay, I saw this. This is going to sound really bad, but I'm like, that's like stoner sweater. <laughs> like, I don't know why I think that when I see these sweaters, but like the kids are wearing these again. Like this used to be in the 90s. I remember kids. So it's earth rags. I didn't see any snags in this. I thought it was a great color. So I'm probably going to throw this one up on eBay. Like I don't think it really fits into my Poshmark closet with the style I have going on. Kind of boho chic, you know. So I'll probably list that one on eBay. The comps looked pretty good. And I don't know. I probably paid a dollar. I mean it doesn't weigh very much at all. This is a new brand I wanted to try out. Um, so 
when I was in college, I worked all through college. So I have degrees in accounting and in marketing. And I worked all through college and I worked at this store called Glicks. So they had like Fox Racing, Volcom, Roxy, stuff like that, very sporty. So I saw this and it just brought back some memories, but I actually like the coat. So it's a Hurley coat, like bomber jacket kind of thing, I guess what you would call this, striped. Um, the hood's removable. Yeah, I just thought it was neat. So I'm probably going to list that myself and just see what happens. Try that brand out. I did send a pair of Roxy swim trunks to thread up. They've been listed for, I don't know, this week. It was like not this last kit, but the kit before. <laughs> and they've already been put in someone's cart, which is exciting. Like, yes, put it in your cart and buy it. Thank you. Um, these I'll probably list myself again because I like listing plus size. These are a Lane Bryant. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Size 18, khaki. Again, I'll probably steam the hem, but it's a skort. So there's shorts underneath. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just way more comfortable wearing a skort than anything. So that'll probably keep. Okay, we got too much stuff way too far where I can't reach. Couple more things, couple more things. Um, okay, this one's going to thread up. And I think it's really odd that I can show up after lunch. They haven't switched the bins for a while. And I still manage to find stuff that people have picked over. So don't be afraid to look at the old bins either. This is a J. Crew skirt, size zero. It was new with the tags. So I'm going to send this to thread up. Like this could be really cute for fall. Which is, I wonder if this is, let me see what says the fabric. It is 70% wool. 70% wool J. Crew, new with the tags. And I think I even said to my reseller friend Jody when we were there, I was like, hello, J. Crew, you're coming home with me. Thank you. Um, here's a pair of Nike dry fit shorts. Um, I'll probably list these myself between Poshmark and eBay. I mean, and these weighed like nothing. Um, I usually sell them between like 15 and 20 bucks. So happy with those. This, I have not heard of the brand before. Um, but these little duster cardigans are cute. It's Chelsea and Violet. Look at this. This little, like, duster cardigan. It's longer, paisley print, and black. I mean, that could be really cute over, like, a black swimsuit. That one I'll probably try to list myself. This is another kind of paisley print top. It was just really good condition. Like the style of it, it's by 7th Avenue and it's a size large. So I'll probably keep that one just to see how it does in Poshmark and eBay. And y'all were getting to the holy grail of the shirt that paid for my whole trip today. I'm so excited. And it was in a bin that was completely picked over. Like I saw a couple of young gals just rummaging through this bin on the end. And I'm like, I'm going through all of them. And I found the next shirt. I'm so excited. Um, not this one. This one, this wasn't a bin that was picked over. Look at this sleeve. That's really pretty. Um, ties in the back. Da, da, da. And... It's a size eight with a new White House Black Market. This brand does good on thread up. They value it pretty high. So I'm definitely sending it there and I'll do the return assurance. So if they decide not to take it, I mean, I only have about a dollar into it. Okay, two more items and then the Holy Grail. Keep watching till the end. I found this pair of Adidas leggings in a size large. And it has like the design on both of the legs. So I don't know, I'll probably list these myself. I could probably get 15 to 20 bucks on those unless my sister sees this video because she's a big Adidas fan and she decides she wants them for herself. <laughs> I'll be happy to gift. Now she's interested in going to the bins too. So I might have a partner in crime. 
Um, I found this purse. I thought about sending this to thread up. It's not a brand I've tried before. I don't know anything about the pattern. I don't know anything about these purses. I do know they sell them at one of the local consignment shops. And it does have the tag, the pulls on the zippers showing the brand. So, guess what this is in the comments? One guess. I mean, we've all seen the little quilted purses. Come on. And this was mixed in with the home goods. Wasn't even in purses and shoes. So I'll send it to thread up just to see. Worst case, if it comes back, I've paid a buck. I don't know, maybe I'll sell it for 15 or $20, but I couldn't find a style name. I don't really know much about Vera Bradley, but we'll see what thread up things. Okay, I, well, let me get this shirt figured out. If it's a shirt, it might be a mini dress, I'm not sure. So, I was going through a bin on the end Everybody had already been through it, and I see, you know, a blousey looking top, and so here it is. Could be a mini dress, could be a tunic. And I see the tag, and it's a size small. And it's free, people, which I love sending the thread up. It does have a style name, number on the inside, but I couldn't find a stock photo while I was cruising through my cart. So I'm gonna send this to thread up some of the tops there. Um, Nikki, one of the resellers I watched, she had a top and she profited $80. I've had a new with tags free people on Poshmark and I'm thinking about sending it to thread up. Retail arbitrage, I've had it for $75. I've had like two likes, not a single offer. Same thing on eBay. Nothing. So I'm like, well, you know what? I probably paid less than a dollar for this. So if I can get $80 on thread up, that's where she's going. Bye, Felicia. Go to thread up. So, so tonight I've got four eBay orders to get out. It is already 11 o'clock here in Ohio, but I really don't want to do them in the morning because mornings are crazy here with the two kids so i'm gonna get my four orders ready for ebay i didn't have anything on poshmark the last two days probably because i haven't been sharing my closet i've been sharing it in the morning and at night and that really did help increase my sales i'll be honest so i need to get back to doing that and then i think i have a box ready to go to thread up so i'm going to order the label tape up the box so that way everything's ready to go to the post office tomorrow so keep watching i'll keep doing hauls i'll try to keep getting better at videos <laughs> lord help me thank you all for your tips and tricks on instagram and uh yeah i hope you like hope you like the videos please subscribe and come back for more it's sarah rosells sarah Rose, the mortgage pro signing off with a goodwill bins haul this evening y'all have a great night bye